Welcome people, I'm Zach. A brief introduction on Max for Live and Musical Signal Processing course, which will be available and run for one month, three evenings each week, making 12 occasions. Each occasion is two hours long. We do a theoretical chapter that has three main points. In about 20-30 minutes, I will explain these things to some detail, and then we do a build, a Max for Life device that feeds from that theory, so we reinforce that understanding, and then we have some time left for questions, ideas about further development, uh, maybe some theoretical deepening, whatever the crowd is interested in. Four weeks we'll do three types of devices that you can build which are MIDI effects so basic number processing initially just a note randomizer some pattern generators the next evening which imposes preset values onto incoming streams and some harmony theory and creating harmonic accompaniment essentially for MIDI streams First week MIDI data, second week audio data, basic pitch and frequency shifter, fairly straightforward but interesting to dig a bit into that theory, what they actually do to the spectrum, what are the different possible ways of doing this. Multiband distortion, the evening after, has to do with filters and nonlinear transfer, so it's already a combination of different processes. Here we're just inserting one process into a device. So we progress from there and then finally we look at amplitude followers to create dynamic processing which is called typically adaptive processing. So things like compressors, expanders and things like that but we look into some uh, slightly more interesting things linking in delays and comp filters as well. After that we do virtual instruments. So synthesizers, essentially basses and lead voices are the simplest things we can get away with. Oscillator with a filter, get acquainted with those in the first evening. Then we do slightly more complex things with a lot of envelopes, create percussion type sounds, use more broadband noisy sources, automatic layering of things. And then the last evening for virtual instruments is about statistical synthesis. So typically granular synthesis and wavetable synthesis with statistical changes, kind of Xenakis, Gendi thing. And we look also into the theory of uh, the statistical distributions and how we can create different ones. And then last week, again three evenings, we look at application programming interface, so ways to directly control the running Ableton application from Max. Most basic thing to do first, tempo manipulator. As it runs, the tempo goes up and down. We'll find out what are the different ways to do this. Then we do clip manipulation. So we latch on to clips, start them, stop them automatically. We can create generative systems or some complex interaction. And then finally, a rec randomizer where we take a rec which has eight parameters available, we latch onto those automatically and then we do fun stuff with those parameters. So all in all a fairly broad course, uh, not necessarily basic but starting from basics and a good amount of theory, good amount of builds, practice and good amount of what is to come in terms of interaction, in terms of your ideas, what would you like to build, are there any issues with this, so kind of a group activity right there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.